Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Uh, following on from the last video um, where I fixed the other Panasonic 3DO, um, I thought I'd revisit mine. Um, in the last video, there I took um, a measurement there of the RF um, test pad. Um, now, this 3DO has had a new laser uh, a long time since, actually, about two years ago. I've only played it for a couple of hours since, uh, maybe three hours at most. Um, but it was on my mind, it was one of those things I needed to revisit and address. Um, and with all the adjustments I've been doing recently to all my laser based systems just to make sure that the lasers are all set correctly um, I thought I'd better just you know, do this one because the lasers for these are becoming quite hard to get hold of actually there is still a seller on AliExpress that sells lasers for these uh, because I think the same laser is used in um, one of those car CD changes you know, one of like 10 disc or 6 disc uh, multi changes I think it's the same part they've used um, and it just so happens it fits the FZ-1 and the FZ-10, I think it is, I think they're both the same laser from what I'm gather. It's got, I think you've got an 11 pin connection and a 4 pin connection. You've got to make sure you get the right one, so it's important you take your laser out. I think, from memory, it's something like, I think the part number's like an SF-92.5, the laser in these. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to um, do what I did in the previous video, really, just to solder a wire on the bottom of the, um, the, the CD RF uh, test pad. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, connect my scope up. I've got the scope sort of sat there, ready. Uh, I've not um, altered any of the settings actually from when I uh, took the reading in the previous video, so it should be straightforward to do this. Um, and I've got uh, a photo uh, I took on the phone of the RF level measured using a pressed audio track, you know, pressed disc audio track, so we can uh, set, set the voltage the same. And it really will just be a case of see what it's set at, at the moment. So I'm curious to see. Uh, I suspect it's going to be a bit higher than it should be because I think in the, uh, my, uh, one of my earlier videos done a month or two back on this 3DO. I had to reduce the laser voltage I think because pressed discs weren't working. Burn discs were and that's, that was a, a clue really to me at the time that the, the voltage was perhaps too high. Um, so yeah anyway it'll be interesting to see. So I got the board out and as you can see the RF test pad is there. Can you see I just over my thumb it says RF and there's a little arrow pointing to the right. It's that, that little uh, solder pad there with the circle around it. Um, yeah, just notice some of these components are angled. You know, look at that, that resistor there, it's at a funny angle. Look at that one down there, bloody hell, it's, it's barely on there. Yeah, so these were um, slapdash sort of uh, assembled, I think, in the factory. Uh, they're not they're not too bad quality, generally. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we'll get a wire uh, soldered onto the RF pad, um, and I'll just stream the wire out the side, um, connect it up to the scope, get um, a pressed disc in there, get an audio track up, and uh, see what the voltage is. So I've got the eye panel up here, this is measuring from the RF test pad, we've got one, two, three, four, uh, I just want to stop it from loading, hang on, uh, one, two, three, four, probably almost five, perhaps five if you take into account uh, the bottom and the top there, you know if I move that up there it looks like five, it's bobbing around a fair bit, um, I was just trying to focus on the disc there, um, it's probably going to be the, yeah, the focus, uh, might even need an adjustment on this, I'm not sure. Anyway, we've got five five blocks there, and each one is 0.125 of a volt. Um, so I think, you know, it's, it's certainly higher than it was set on the other one. Uh, I think on the other system, it was nearer to four and a half. Um, so we'll perhaps just try and pull that down a little bit. Yeah, so the laser adjustment port is just down there. For the moment, I've just took this supporting bracket off the top there. Doesn't don't, don't need to, really. Um, so I'll get a very small dual screwdriver and I'll turn it one way, I'm not sure which yet, I'll perhaps turn it uh, clockwise, we'll see whether that increases it or decreases it, I guess this is useful anyway even if you've not got a scope, uh, you know the fact that I'll be um, clarifying which way to turn that, whether to increase or decrease the voltage um, and hopefully we should see uh, the level change there on the RF test pad. So I tweaked it a tiny bit clockwise, let's switch it on now, I suspect that's going to increase it. Yeah, that looks very high actually. Yeah, that, that's increased, bear in mind it's not even got to an audio track yet, but that's, that's increased it, so I'll switch it off. And let's go anti-clockwise. So that was anti-clockwise a bit, um, bear in mind it's not on an audio track at the moment, but let's just see how we get on with that. And this is on a pressed disc. 
Yeah, so we're at an audio track. Uh, just try and put that down there. One, two, three, four and a half, I think. Um, I think that's very similar to what the other 3DO was set to. Um, yeah, that was a screenshot I took uh, of yesterday, a uh, capture. So I think we had uh, roughly four and a half. One, two, three, yeah, four and a half blocks. Uh, one, two, three, four and a half. Yeah, I think that, I'm okay with that. Um, so it was a bit slightly higher than uh, it should have been, really. So we'll try that with a burnt disc now, just to make sure burnt discs are still working. And just for consistency, I'm going to go with uh, my burnt copy of Space Hulk. So what we were testing there was uh, a pressed copy of Space Hulk. Now we're testing a burnt copy of the same game. I'll just skip to the audio track. Yeah, so on the audio track there now, and it, again, yeah, it's a bit lower, what we've got, but... Uh, and it's a slightly inaccurate way of doing this, because it's bobbing up and down as well, so it's, it's pretty hard to measure, but one, two, three, a little bit. Yeah, that's not dissimilar to what we saw on the other 3DO either. Uh, bear in mind, like I said, the laser on that one had not been adjusted, it was factory. So I'm quite comfortable that this is now configured um, almost as factory, it's, it's, you know, it's what it should be. So just for the record, uh, the pot is sort of facing this way, uh, up here, it's like at a really weird angle, you've got to get the screwdriver in like this and be really careful, use a magnifying glass at the same time just to make sure you can see that you're getting onto the, the, the surface of the, 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 you know, the gap there for the um, screwdriver to fit in. Um, and I went um, initially clockwise and the voltage went up and then I went uh, anti-clockwise, you know, that way, uh, like that, to... Um, lower the voltage and you don't need to you know it's it, it's the same on all these you don't need to adjust it very much I mean you're talking like barely even a turn you might even think you've not turned it and you actually decreased it or increased it uh, depending on which way you turned it and I'm not sure how much use this really is I've done this similar thing to this in previous videos here um, but measuring the DC voltage there of the RF pad with no disc in you can see it's at there 2.516 uh, we'll just wait for it to load an audio track And there we go, that's on an audio track, 2.930 slash 1, yeah, 2.931. Um, so that was on a CDR, let's just try a press disc. Um, it does look like we've got a representative, uh, representative there of the voltage, of the DC voltage of that, that, that RF level. You know, the same voltage level of about, what's that, about 400 and something millivolts. I think we'd expect it about 550, 560 on a press disc, so let's just try that. So we're all back together now, uh, thoroughly tested uh, loads of burn discs and original discs, everything's working fine. So uh, yeah, that adjustment did need making just to extend the life of the laser really. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.